find the curvature and radius of circle of curvature of f of x equals five natural log of three x at x equals two. Because we're giving the curve in two dimensions as a function of x, we'll be using the curvature formula shown here at the bottom right hand corner of the page. Recall the curvature at a point measures how sharply the curve bends or how quickly it changes direction, which means the more sharply a curve bends and the more quickly it changes direction, the larger the value of the curvature. The curvature of a line is zero. The curvature of a circle is one divided by the radius of the circle. And the curvature is equal to the reciprocal of the value of the radius of the circle of curvature. Let's take a look at an animation. In this graph, we have the function f of x graphed in black, and this blue circle is a circle of curvature at the point at which the circle is tangent to the curve. As we animate the circle of curvature, notice the circle gets smaller when the graph turns more sharply or changes direction more quickly, which we see here. Notice as we approach the curve or bend in the graph, the circle of curvature gets smaller. And the radius of the circle of curvature and the curvature are reciprocals of one another. So when the radius of the circle of curvature is small, the value of the curvature is large. So right here we have a small circle of curvature, which indicates the curvature is large because the radius of the circle of curvature is small. And now let's go ahead and animate the circle of curvature along the graph. Again, we can see how the circle of curvature changes size as the curve changes and turns more slowly or more quickly. So again, the important thing to remember here is when the circle of curvature is small, the radius of the circle of curvature is small, and therefore the curvature is large because the curvature is a reciprocal of the radius of circle of curvature. Okay, going back to our problem, let's now determine the curvature. We begin by determining the first and second derivatives of the given function, and then evaluate those at x equals two. Notice to find the derivative, we need to apply the chain rule. f prime of x is equal to five times one divided by three x times the derivative of three x, which is three. Simplifying, notice the three simplify out. f prime of x equals five divided by x. Which to find f double prime, or the second derivative, we need to write as five x to the power of negative one. And now let's determine the second derivative, which equals a derivative of five x to the negative one. F double prime of x equals five times negative one times x to the power of negative two. Simplifying, we have negative five divided by x squared. And now we'll evaluate these derivatives at x equals two. F prime of two equals five halves. F double prime of two equals negative five fourths. And now we can determine the curvature at x equals two. The curvature k equals the absolute value of f double prime of two divided by the three halves power of the sum of one and the square of f prime of two. And now we sub in five halves for f prime of two and negative five fourths for f double prime of two. And now we need to simplify. Of course, the absolute value of negative five fourths is five fourths. In the denominator, the square of five halves is 25 fourths. One plus 25 fourths is equal to 29 fourths, indicating we have five fourths divided by 29 fourths raised to the three halves power. Because three halves equals one plus one half, we can write 29 to the three halves power as 29 times square root 29, and we can write four to the three halves as four times square root four. And of course, square root four is equal to two, four square root two is equal to eight. From here, dividing by a fraction is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal. We can write this as five fourths times eight over 29 square root 29. Notice here we have a common factor of four between four and eight, one four and four, two fours and eight. Multiplying, we have the curvature equals 10 divided by 29 square root 29. So that's the curvature, and therefore the radius of circle of curvature is equal to the reciprocal of this value, which gives us 29 square root 29 divided by 10. Before we go, let's look at the circle of curvature for the given function at x equals two. We have f of x equals five natural log three x graphed in black. This blue circle is a circle of curvature at x equals two. 
we found the radius of this circle and the curvature is equal to the reciprocal of this radius. I hope you found this helpful.